Hello, welcome to my humble channel. My name is Rooks and I'm an artist. I hope you're having a great week or an okay one. Okay ones are okay too. This week I've been planting summer and autumn carrots and out of nowhere all of a sudden it struck me. The theme of this week. Francois Lepic from the book titled Carrot Top. Story of a red haired boy who survives a dysfunctional family. I have painted portraits of red haired people in the past, like Seraphine the mermaid here. But today we're going to paint Francois, because I'm also planting melons for the summer. Don't you worry, it all makes sense in my head. I think I have a rough idea how Francois should look. The watercolour should work quite well for him. I might also try using this watercolour pencil. For what? I don't know just yet. I'm a cauliflower, not an artist. Here, I'm using watercolour pencil and roughly mapping out where the head and the hand should go. By the way, this is how a cauliflower would paint. Look at it go. I lied. There is an eyelash on the paper for some reason, so I'm desperately trying to flick it off. Perhaps it was an omen that I should just go straight to painting the eyes, meaning two blue dots. Francois is a fictional character. He has a model. He is a French writer called Jules Renard. I don't actually know the colours of Mr. Renner's eyes. I'm guessing either blue or hazel. I come from a place where overwhelming majority of people have jet black hair. And so is mine. Then I read Anne of Green Gables and watched Fifth Element. Then I realised that some people are incredibly rude and creepy to red-haired people. And they've come up with prejudices like they're hot-headed or something like that. Some even shout abuse at them. When a person is abused, it would create appropriate reactions such as anger, sadness or even annoyance. My guess is then the abusers would take the protest as a threat and act like little male Karens. We don't like little male Karens, do we? But we like fresh melons. In the film about Francois, one of the scene depicts a dinner table where the mother has plate full of melon slices but deliberately ignores Francois and won't give him a slice. And it stuck with me. I feel particularly sad when a child or a cat is refused food. Since then, every time I saw melon seeds, I think about him. One of the great things about being an artist is that you can right the wrong and wrong the right. Thank you so much for coming to see me and Francois today. It would be wonderful if you could like, share or subscribe. I shall come back next week and it would be wonderful if I could see you again. I make sure that everybody gets melon in my little world.